Hello everyone and welcome from the Hechal group in Jerusalem and from the 2025 initiative group. Welcoming you to our Jerusalem meditation in this month of Leo. As we all know, Leo has a lot to do with selfhood, being aware of ourselves, self-reflection, and standing in our power, our full presence. In recent weeks, we have experimented with perceiving Jerusalem as a living entity a living space. And we practiced holding this space in our consciousness. And what does that mean? It means that we hold the intention for a constructive process to happen in this field. And this is a work of the heart and the mind. And as we know, if we do this, uh, when, when a human being, and more so a group, holds our caring attention on something, on a person or a situation or location, a subtle dynamic is started. As soon as we step into this function of holding space, we become a force which will have an effect on this space, whatever that is, space. So in our case, when we apply the flashlight of our mind to the Jerusalem field, um, when we discern the thought forms and the glamours and the emotional patterns within it, then we add some light to this space, we make it kind of more transparent and more penetrable to the higher energies, to the higher potential. And also in this process, in this learning to hold space, when our antennas become more attuned, we may perceive the devic forces in that space and to start then to consciously cooperate with them. In the last few months, we were concentrating more on the how of this work, on our method and honing our skills. And today we would like to, to, to concentrate more on the what on the contents of this field, on what we actually see or perceive, to have a look at the thought forms and the emotional patterns within the Jerusalem field. So before we go into meditation, we will do something that we didn't do for quite a while in the Jerusalem meditation. And that is to, to uh, receive um, an impression from Efrat and Helen, who are on the ground in, in Jerusalem, uh, to share with us how the Jerusalem field looks from their perspective. And then later we will look at Jerusalem more from above, from our meditation. So over to you. Efrat and Helen. Hi, <clears throat> good evening. This is Efrat from Jerusalem. The situation in Jerusalem, as in, I think, many places in Israel and all over the world, is very complicated and tense. And uh, I would like to, to point out or to, to invite us to to focus about a uh, special uh, energy 
is to speak in Jerusalem and how it's um, how we can meet it on the ground. Uh, we are facing fifth selection in a few years. The situation is quite tense and <laughs> we can say crazy. But in all this uh, movement and energy, there is a very special group that uh, take our uh, attention. Those are the people who fight for democracy and justice. Most of them come from the demonstration. Uh, and it seems like the, the demonstration before the last election was to, to change the government. And it seems like when the government will change, all these voices uh, will disappear. And what is very exciting is that these voices are, as, as, <laughs> as they say in basketball, keep the eye on the ball. They, they hold the ideas and the values of justice, of democracy. There are people again in Balfour, people again on the bridge, old flags and all kind of uh, slogan. I think the one of the most important of them, it's a group called Looking Occupation in the Eye. Very dear people goes to the occupied territories and bring evidence of what's happened there and try to bring it into the public opinion because the public media ignore it. So uh, I, I invite us to emphasize this group and those people. Thank you. Yeah, this is the first time, right? I thought that uh, that the occupation is coming more into into mainstream public uh, uh, awareness. Right? Yes, uh, there was uh, all the time uh, the people who uh, uh, fight for democracy. Some of them uh, not emphasize enough that it's impossible to to be in a democracy democracy country uh, and occupy another people. Mm -hmm. So now uh, it become more close together. Mm -hmm. Okay, Helen, you are adding something. Hmm. If that was Helen supposed to say something? She said she said that if uh, she have something to add, um, she will. But I don't know. Maybe ah, she. Ah, I'm, so, I'm sorry. You can't. You you can't hear me. Now no. You can no. Hear? Now we can hear you. Oh, oh I didn't un unmute myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I, I was uh, just saying that I wanted to, uh, to also confirm and strengthen what uh, what uh, Ifrat said and what you brought in your uh, short introduction, Uta, saying that uh, you know holding the space and uh, that uh, we become a force having an effect. And, and this is what is happening, and we see more and more that this constant speaking out of the of those voices that are dissent of the of the, of the main narrative, which is really very violent here, and and that uh, uh, now with the elections is uh, even more. Um, this uh, this voice uh, disturbs this majority of the people who believe in this uh, narrative of, of uh, security, of the existence of traditional enemies. And uh, um, so it is really a strength. It's, uh, it's a force that is being, being created. And it's, uh, I, I think that it has an effect also on the people who themselves believe so strongly, uh, you know, in the government and uh, 
uh, or, or now, now in the extremist uh, views, uh, now with the elections, even those who believe in the extreme views are beginning to uh, to ask questions and to reevaluate. Hmm. And it's something that is uh, that is felt very strongly. I hear it from young people. Uh, I hear it even, I live in a neighborhood where um, a big majority is a religious right wing. Uh, and I, I, I hear the re-evaluation now. And uh, it's, uh, it's, a good, it's, uh, it's a good feeling, I must say. Yeah. So thank you, Ifat. Thank you. Thanks both. We will take your um, impressions, your finger points, how you say, your pointers into the meditation with us. Um, we will have a, a, a finishing with a great invocation in Hebrew and uh, Arabic and then English. Um, Mark, how is your microphone? Uh, can you do the English? Let's see how I sound. Okay, good. You're on. Dope. Good. Thanks. So let us prepare for meditation. Take a deep breath. First of all, feeling our body as the receptacle and the grounder of all contacted energy. And grounding ourselves in nature, in the earth. in the embrace of the mother of the world. Resting a moment in the stillness of our heart. bringing our mind into a focus. Focus on the stool of the director in the center of our head. Standing as the incarnated soul, poised and radiant. And let us now turn our attention towards Jerusalem. Becoming aware of a focal point of love and light and spiritual will somewhere within the aura of Jerusalem. Meeting there, entering this focal point like entering an etheric temple. Sensing its force field of dynamic harmony. Attuning our heart with the group heart. And 
synchronizing our mind with the group mind. And standing together as souls, as space holders for Jerusalem. And perceiving our group, our focal point within the great network of world service. Each group having their place and function. Sensing the inner unity of purpose between all world workers. We affirm one united inner movement that is working out through the different outer groups. Now, as a group, let us connect to the higher co-workers who support and guide this Jerusalem project, human and Deva. Establish a, a stable connection with them to be held throughout this meditation. And in their protective aura, let us now become aware of the aura of Jerusalem, sensing it as a living dynamic space. Taking a moment to get an overall sense of this space. Let us now focus in on the various levels, the various planes of this space, starting with the physical expression of the city. Let's just visualize the structure of the city and the people in their varied appearances. Just getting a sense of this physical presence on the Judean hills, and gradually let us include in our view the emotional component of Jerusalem. See if we can discern some of the astral currents 
and emotional patterns and streams that qualify the atmosphere in the city. Sense this living organism breathing. And all these emotional dynamics going on in this space. Let us now include in our awareness also the mental plane. the mental currents, the thought forms which are active in the city. The more current ones and perhaps also glimpsing some of the more ancient thought forms. Let's take a moment to just observe. And now let us expand our awareness into the subtler plane above the mental, the buddhic plane. Linking back with our higher co-workers, human and deva. And within their presence, let us take a few minutes in silence now to open our consciousness to the divine blueprint, the intended design of Jerusalem. Jerusalem on high.
Let us visualize the archetypal design of Jerusalem as a golden vibration in perfect geometric order. And let us see now this vibration filtering through the planes, starting with the mental plane. See the divine blueprint, come into the mental plane, interact with these, with the mental substance of the city, with the thought life of Jerusalem. Focus for a moment on the fact, the concept, the thought form of occupation. perceiving it as coming more clearly into public view, being recognizable now by the citizens. Through this golden light, golden vibration, visualize that the thought forms of the city begin to rearrange coming more into resonance with the intended design. Let us hold space for a moment for this. And as this continues, let us shift our gaze now to the astral plane of Jerusalem, visualizing this golden vibration qualifying, elevating the emotional dynamics of the city. Loosening compacted astral energies, soothing, harmonizing the astral currents. Let us visualize the astral body of the city breathing. Breathing more calmly. And visualizing now the golden vibration entering the etheric and physical component of the city, vitalizing, nurturing the vibrancy and the harmonious activity in the city. Holding space for this for a moment.
including now in our awareness, the little angelic beings, the golden deva builders, that subtly weave the archetypal design into the aura of Jerusalem. Let's just sense us for a moment to do this together with them. And let us include also the trees of the city in our awareness, visualizing them connecting the golden light pattern through their branches and their roots with the light which is already in the earth deep below Jerusalem. See one continuous fabric, the light in the heavens connected with the light in the earth. See the aura of Jerusalem glow with warm golden light. and visualize Jerusalem standing in wholeness, in oneness, sending out her call over our planet. The souls of all are one, and I am one with them. I seek to love, not hate, I seek to serve and not exact your service. I seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the time. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all humans love. See the golden unifying wave spread out from Jerusalem into the area of Israel-Palestine, unifying, harmonizing, spreading out further into the nations of the Middle East. seeing the waves stream further, further east into Asia. See a thread of light connecting Jerusalem with Darjeeling. Picking up 
the quality of Darjeeling and see the unifying wave pour further through Asia, linking into Tokyo, picking up the higher vibration of Tokyo, spreading to Australia and Oceania, and over the ocean to America, linking into New York, picking up the higher energy of New York, of this planetary center, and then further seeing the wave going further to Europe, linking into London, picking up that energy, the higher energy of London, linking into Geneva, picking up that energy of the heart, spreading out into Africa, and spreading all over the world and back to Jerusalem. Let us visualize this unifying wave continuing to flow over the earth and affirming it as we recite the great invocation in Hebrew, Arabic, and English. In ירד האור על פני האדמה. מנקודת האהבה אשר בלב האל, זרום האהבה אל לבבות אנוש. ושוב מורה עולם על פני האדמה. מן המרכז שבו נודע רצון האל, תנחה תכלית את רצונות אדם. תכלית אותה מורי האנושות יודעים ומשרתים. מן המרכז אשר נקרא המין האנושי, ושם תוכנית האהבה והאור ויחתם הפתח אל הרע. יהי רצון, ויחדשו אור, אהבה ועוצמה, את התוכנית על פני האדמה. من نقطة النور في العقل الإلهي ليشع النور في عقول الناس وليهبط النور إلى الأرض من نقطة الحب في القلب الإلهي ليتسرب الحب إلى قلوب الناس وليرجع السيد الآتي إلى الأرض من المركز الذي تعرف منها إرادة الله لتقود الغاية إرادة الناس البسيطة تلك الغاية التي يدركها المعلمون ويخدمونها من المركز الذي ندعون بالجنس البشري لينتج تسمين الحب والنور ويختم على الباب الذي يقيم به الشر ليجدد النور والحب والقوة التسمين على الأرض From the point of light within the mind of God light streams forth to the human minds. Light descends on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, 
love streams forth into the human hearts. The Christ returns to earth from the center where the will of God is known. Purpose guides the little human wills, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of humanity, the plan of love and light works out and it seals the door where evil dwells. Light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Oh. Thank you, friends. Thank you for this meditation together. And it will be very good to share our impressions. Please, if you would like to speak, raise your hand and we will unmute you. Well, friends, if no one else has something to share, I have a river full of passionate 
thoughts and ideas and impressions. I will try to make a brief and I'll send an email to Uta with the details. The meditation, of course, on the topic is invokes my passion tremendously. I've been there, I worked with the folks in the Middle East, tremendous love for them and seeing the, uh, us all together as a group is the greatest joy. Um, hearing the position that we're in now politically just invokes my need to act, uh, hands-on work and write a lot of emails to invoke the best of the soul of the Jewish people now. I feel like what happens now is going to affect the Jewish population worldwide. And that's a big deal. Let's see. I have four half pages of notes. I'm just going to just say what comes to me. The women in the Middle East now are so important. The divine feminine, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, Druze, and others really need to sit in circles their children in the center of the circles so that the fathers can see the beauty and possibility of getting along together. And the women must stand and sit and be very active now. There are many groups doing peacemaking work in the Middle East and here hands, hands of peace, seeds of peace, Israel youth around the world. Of course, there's United Religions Initiative, which is worldwide, so many organizations. Now's the time to activate. I will, I will send emails to wherever I can, make phone calls wherever I can, because the, the impetus needs, of course, to come like we do, and so beautifully today, from the top down. The impetus needs to be equally from the bottom up which means clearing the old energies, really, really clearing the old energies, especially uh, by our actions and by our meditations. No turning back. This is, this is the turning point. And um, let's see if there's anything else. The youth, extremely important. And all of these activities, I would say, would be so wonderful to get them on videos and sent out worldwide send them out worldwide so that the entire world is involved in this um, so i think that's all i i want to say right now other than I, I love today the energy is very very strong let's really really get to work now every day do something in favor of peace between israel palestine and the middle east and connected to the peace that's necessary in the world, the time is now. So, thank you. Hi, this is Helen. Um, I had a, uh, a good meditation. Um, uh, very needed at this time to bring uh, um, to bring this archetypal. Uh, um, the, the, the divine, this divine blueprint of Jerusalem as a golden energy, bring it down to all the areas. Um, it makes uh, it, it, it makes me um, feel more ordered, you know, to bring it down on the physical. And I love the, to see uh, Jerusalem, Uta, as you brought it, uh, you know, on the Judean hills. 
and uh, to bring it through uh, through uh, the emotional and the mental and, uh, and the subtle planes. Um, it gave me a, a kind of stability, and this is what I is very much needed, at least to me at this time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks, Helen, for this view from the ground. Um, stability, yes, holding space, one thing that we can do. Um, hmm. Maybe the main thing that we can do now. Hmm. And really recognizing, realizing our, our power as individuals and especially as groups to do this. We need to be the, the, um, the pillars of, of calm in this storm. When we can do this for a whole area in this way, I mean, it's just a pioneering work. Yeah. It strikes me as, as uh, really an, an important um, function that we as uh, spiritual students have. Yeah, I would add also to this calm and uh, and this alignment um, is is uh, is to speak out also, you know, to make our voices heard somehow. Um, and uh, I wonder, you know. Uh, I am uh, on a personal uh, level. I'm, I'm much too old to join uh, all kinds of demonstrations and uh, and um, and public uh, public meetings of hearing of making uh, the voices heard. But I definitely do strengthen all those uh, all those endeavors that are. I think they're multiplying now. Mm -hmm. They're getting to be more and more. Mm. Yeah, it's it's still very small. It's still on on a very small scale. Yeah. But 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 but, uh, but you hear, you know, when you open your ears and your heart, then you you hear what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and by re recognizing this and. Uh, um and holding space for it. We give it strength. It's like we all have our different functions, of course. Those on the front lines and in the streets have a different function from us. Us, uh, I mean, that doesn't mean we don't have to go also to the streets, but but this here, this function of, uh, of uh, online meditation in this way, let's realize yeah. The importance of it. We we fill a niche. <laughs> we do our job. Yeah. And um, learning together how to do this more and more efficiently. Um, yeah, that's our job. Yeah, and I'm not talking only about uh, the the topic that has been brought today, which is the occupation. I mean, uh, uh, in the occupation, it's you know, there it's uh, really small, small groups that make themselves heard. But mm -hmm. uh, I say it's the general trend now yeah. of more and more people asking questions. Yeah. yeah. Like Efrat said, they they uh, they keep their eyes on the ball. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is what we have actually. We keep yeah. also our eyes on that ball. <laughs> so. Yeah hold the space for them to do this on the outer plane. Mm -hmm. It was today a bit more involved, the, the meditation, more details. I would be happy to get some feedback if that was maybe too much or what, um, what was 
your experience with this meditation outline. <laughs> Well, I guess we have to give space to both. Huh? <laughs> um, Jillian, wait, I unmute Jillian here. Yeah. Here you go, Jillian. Uh, thank you. Um, I had been thinking uh, prior to Mark speaking that there must be many more ordinary people living in Jerusalem from all faiths and none that want to see peace and cooperation between everybody. And the point he made about women and the young will probably <coughs> excuse me, have to, have to take the lead. Um, because it seems to be so entrenched in a lot of the male population that they must keep uh, the old rivalries going. So mm. uh, I, I agree with uh, what he said. Thank you. Mm. Thanks, Stu. Hi, this is Efrat. Thank you, Uta. For me, it was very, very rich and beautiful meditation. I will bring only a few impressions. Um, the main picture was that Jerusalem is really made of a lot of layers. Mm. with uh, different um, um, energy. Are very, some are very old and, and stuck, and some are very uh, new and, and vivid, and a lot of uh, cultural events are taking place now in Jerusalem. Many, many young artists from all kinds of theater, music, dance, movie. Uh, there is a big uh, film festival now. So at the beginning, it seems like it um, um, shoot like a conflict between the old and the, and the new, but, but then came a very strong and beautiful picture that the new, especially cultural uh, events are like uh, pillars. You also manage, uh, <laughs> You said pillar to uh, It's like a, a pillars that connect from the vivid energy of the ground to the archetypal uh, Jerusalem, mm -hmm. Jerusalem of gold. And in between these pillars, uh, stuck all the old. <laughs> and and uh, the little creature, the, the devada helping us to, to hold and build these uh, pillars, which are getting more and more vivid and beautiful. And, and on those pillars, uh, the, the higher Jerusalem can go down and land. It's mm. impossible to land the ground. The ground is too messy for this gentle Jerusalem, but it can land on the pillars. So uh, there is the, the ground and the pillars and the higher Jerusalem land on and the uh, and in between these pillars where the old energy is stuck, uh, it will slowly by slowly um, dry because the mm -hmm. higher energy will not get there. So mm -hmm. it's a very, very interesting uh, image hmm. thank you oh, it's like a landing platform for for a spaceship or something yeah, yeah. that uh, that then from from that landing platform it can it can influence uh, radiate a bit more maybe into this old stuff in the middle yeah and and what will not uh, in some of the old 
all the energy, all the stuff, all the thought forms, all the emotional uh, um, fields. Uh, what will not resonate with the higher uh, frequency just uh, will will it um, your will dry dry up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a great picture. Yeah, it was. It is. <laughs> hmm. Margot, you are unmuted. It's Margot from Canada. And I I liked the um, the detail in the meditation today, the the sequential nature of it. <clears throat> Pardon me. There was some very fractious energy um, in my neighborhood at the moment. There's a lot of construction going on and uh, some angry voices and energies. And as we went through the meditation, that uh, holding the space here quieted everything down as well. Mm -hmm. um, I'll, I'll just briefly, on the physical, it seemed mostly downward focused. Um, emotional, fear, courage, angry, anger, grief, resignation, hope, perseverance. Mental, there was an image of a, a lid on a pot that was being held down because the steam is rising so forcefully. It had to be held down, but the steam is escaping as if the old is, is holding this, this steam down, but it's it's escaping anyway. Mm. And the Buddhic, there's a piercing sound that was barely audible. And as it increased, it was causing great resistance in some and activation of the new in others. And then noticing a pulsing as if a greater heartbeat is generating the sound. Mm -hmm. The golden vibration, the, the mental, this golden vibration is causing the questioning and, and recalibration, a quieting of the emotional and a collective deep breath and sigh of the physical. Mm -hmm. With the wave around the world, that wave became once we returned to Jerusalem, it, it became the encircling arms of the mother of the world and the energy circulating through her heart. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Margot. Yeah, I had also this sense of uh, as we moved around the world, we were picking up these different energies and um, yeah, the different planetary centers, each one adding their note or their nuance to this unifying wave. For me, it was also very powerful to um so to speak to hear jerusalem sound the call of wholeness stand in this call of stand in in her wholeness and sound it out it's a powerful moment for me in the meditation Okay, anyone else before we close? All right.
So, blessings to all of us as we sound our note. Contribute our strand of love to this transformation on our planet. Thank you, everyone. And bye bye. Bye. Thank you. So, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. And lots of gratitude. Wow. Bye.